Honestly, when am I not coming on YouTube and having a mental breakdown? I literally woke up 10 minutes ago and I was like, let's turn the camera on. Let's start this video. <laughs> so um bear with the morning crusties okay the last couple days have been mentally rough i've been spiraling down this downward hill so today we're gonna start doing some things together to get a little bit more of a pep back into my step um and just try to start feeling like me again I know a lot of you are like probably in the same boat as me. Um, I actually did a poll on my Instagram yesterday. I just wanted to do a mental health check-in and see how you guys were. <clears throat> and so many people were like, I'm overwhelmed from school. I'm stressed. Um, been super anxious lately. I don't know what I want to do with my life. I have been hating my body. I have it like all of these things. And like there was some positive responses and that's the cool thing about life and emotions, right? You could be experiencing your worst day. Someone else might be experiencing the best day of their life right now, right this second. So like just viewing emotions and everything as waves that come and go is helpful for me. But obviously when you're in the storm, it isn't because it's so consuming so that's what we're gonna try to do break out of that storm also I need to preface this because it's very misleading to click on a mental health video and all of a sudden seeing this productive bitch who's about to make her bed probably go work out or stretch or do all these things and read and journal and da 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 this might not be the best advice but this is what I have to do I have to allow myself like a day of not enjoying life of like laying in bed um okay maybe not a whole day but like a good chunk of your day is gonna be purging some of those emotions out like yesterday I cried hysterically for like 15 minutes did I need I, I did need to cry actually it, it's important to just release things when they surface so yeah pretty much yesterday I didn't do the stuff that was good for me I didn't go out I the only time I went outside was to get myself a fat burrito which was very deserved I got like a fat veggie burrito and I pounded that thing but I did that. I didn't do anything else. I didn't really journal. I didn't um, listen to podcasts or anything. I just was drained. Just know that that is okay. Like, I actually get to a point where I let myself become this crusty, disgusting bitch. And it's like almost like I punish myself. Like, oh, you feel so bad on the inside? Okay, you're not gonna wash your armpits and you're gonna smell like a stinky bitch and you're not gonna brush your hair and you're gonna stay in your pajamas all day and you're gonna eat foods that don't really make you feel that alive. It's a very, very bad cycle. And that's why today I still don't feel 100%. I actually woke up defeated because I turn on my alarm for seven o'clock and I snoozed it instantly. A reoccurring pattern that needs to be broken. My day hasn't started on the best note because I let myself down. But I'm dropping the expectations for the rest of the day. And that's something that I want you to take away from this video. Take the pressure off. Take the pressure off. I know you have all these outside responsibilities. Stop thinking about all that. You're here. You're here with me right now. <sighs> Let's just take a second and prep for this breath together. Breathing is something that always centers me. No matter how crazy life can get, you can always take a few moments and connect to your breath. When I pause and I feel my lungs fill with air, I'm reminded how blessed I am to be alive. So I hope this breath feels really rejuvenating for you. So on that note, let's take a deep breath in. Feel your belly fill with air. Feel your chest expand and hold it there for a second. Now release it. 
And on this exhale, I want you to visualize that whatever isn't serving you any longer is leaving. You feel better? I hope that helped. Back to my shit show. <laughs> when my head gets super cloudy and I can't really make sense of the noise, I have um, this notes tab on my phone and I just titled it Two Minute Dumps. And every time, most of the times, I don't like to say every time at all because obviously there's days where I'm just not going to do it. But most of the time when I'm stressed, I'll just open that tab and put a two minute timer on my phone. Like literally as if I was in grade school and the teacher was like, oh my god, you have to write for, for two minutes of time. But it helps a lot and you're able to get like a gist of what's going on in this crazy place. <laughs> so crazy. Ah! It's a good day to have a good day, bitch. We're not gonna let our mind win today, bitch. Yeah. Literally right after I stopped talking to you guys, I went on my phone. <laughs> it just woke up. This should not be the first thing you put into your brain. It's just messed up how much information you have access to and so many like 15 30 second videos it's not normal and i encourage you to detach so i came in the bathroom to check myself um splashing my face with cold water always helps and helps check me in also showering is really important for me i've just visualized the water washing off all the things that i want to let go of just doing little acts of self-care for yourself, in my opinion, can really change the game during these times. Like even putting some lotion on and like massaging the tops of your shoulders or getting a gua sha out and doing stuff to your face or painting your nails. And like obviously these acts of self-care and facials don't fix everything, but Sometimes it's a good place to start because it's a little boost of confidence. Like, yes, I did that for myself. And it has this ripple effect, truly. And when you keep focusing on the things you're doing instead of the things you're not doing, it is extremely helpful. I'm gonna go try to do a 30 minute meditation. And I don't know how that's gonna go because it's kind of hard for me to center my mind after I'm already thinking of stuff, but I think 30 minutes will give me enough time to slow it down and recenter it. So we'll check in right after that. Bye. Thank you. Bye. I'll just be here with my thoughts. How do you feel this morning? Good. Good. I feel great. No, I'm just kidding. I don't feel great, but. I don't feel bad. The people that I, that are my like lifelong forever homies are the people that I'm more similar to. I feel like I've been opening my eyes and like that holds a special space. In my I'm about to, so right now I'm just going to write down whatever thoughts are in my head and just getting it out of my head really helps me go into my meditation with like a clearer headspace. As a chronic overthinker, I also find it really helpful to get, um, healing frequencies and play those in the background this is just a playlist on spotify um it's called healing frequencies by miracle tones i don't think it's focusing but i'll insert a picture of it but it really helps just quiet the mind hey guys it's a couple days later i cut my hair last night by myself but i'm gonna talk about some things that i have been realizing i've been realizing that i've been living as a victim in my own mind and i haven't taken the control back i've been letting my mind run wild and i started to overthink everything i posted and just compare my journey to different journeys and it was just a really bad loop you have to get to a point where it's like okay i'm aware that i do this stuff what the hell am i gonna do about it as much as it's easy to just complain about it and be like ugh, why am i this way Eventually you got to put in the work and you got to look at yourself objectively and be like 
Okay. What the fuck? Why are you doing this? Like, obviously you're gonna feel like shit when you're not following through with anything you say. And the idea that happiness fixes everything is complete bullshit because it's easy to be happy when things are good. But how are you treating yourself when it's not good? That's what I thought. Probably pretty bad, huh? <laughs> taking my power back I am stepping in to the best version of myself I'm a hard worker I'm powerful I'm relentless I'm limitless I'm creative I'm kind I'm ambitious I am gentle I'm nurturing I'm loving I'm love I'm light I have a magnetic and irresistible energy I have unlimited potential to bring about all of my desires I release anything that is not serving my highest good Oh, that feels so good to say. Something I'm trying to remember is nothing needs to be perfect. Like, just, just make yourself do it and just do things that make you feel alive. There's nothing sweeter than my baby. Never felt much from the cherry tree. My baby, sweet as can be. She gave me two fakes just from kissing me. And it's okay if sometimes you think about that and you're like, I don't even have any passions. I don't even have close friends. My family's falling apart. I can't afford college. I can't do all of these things. I've fucking been there and I know how it feels, but at some point you need to stop playing the victim in your own life and you've been dealt the cards that you've been dealt and it's there for a reason and you just need to trust the process and keep working on yourself because that's your greatest power. I know this probably looks silly, but something about just getting your body moving in like whatever way your body wants to move is so freeing. I'm really out of breath. My endurance should not be this bad. <laughs> Something about dancing is just so healing. <laughs> like I just start twerking like crazy. <laughs> when my mental health gets bad, I literally have to treat myself like a child. So I just like play games with myself. Like my house is very messy right now. I'm gonna put on two of my favorite songs, two feel good songs that I know make me dance, make me feel awesome. And I'm gonna power clean the house. But the jib, the jib, <laughs> the thing is I need to finish cleaning by the time those songs end. So it's fun. You're like running around, you're like da 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 da, and at the end you just feel really good after. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean my whole space because I went back on my phone. <laughs> Guys, I went back on my phone. Time to clean. Stuck in the past in my room. Instead of perfection, focus on progress. I just read something that I'm going to read to you guys, but it says, The greatest act of self-love is to no longer accept a life you are unhappy with. It is to be able to state the problem plainly and in a straightforward manner. So just taking ownership of why you do what you do and just building an awareness to some of your tendencies and your habits that you're trying to break. And maybe we can do a video on that because there's a lot that I'm trying to... Uh, rewire in my brain and it's not easy and you lose a battle to your brain time and time again but each time you start to build a deeper awareness for why you are the way you are and it allows you to kind of get into the like wiring center of your brain and move stuff around I think the note that I want to leave you on is we're not fixed beings we have the power to constantly change your life you know your power at the end of the day and it's okay if you don't too because it's something that i am still learning even as i preach all this stuff to you it's like an ongoing journey with myself so something that i want you guys to take away from this is to 
just meet yourself where you're at with loving open arms whatever has happened to you whatever you have done whatever you are still going through right now meet yourself there speak to yourself the words that little you needed to hear okay and keep showing up for yourself it doesn't need to be perfect but it needs to be done and you need to make yourself a priority because if you don't no one else will and how you treat yourself is how everyone else that you meet will treat you so take care of yourself good this is an ongoing journey we're gonna keep cultivating our best self and just discovering who we are together i'm so happy you're here like seriously the amount of gratitude i have in my heart for you guys is so cool i just think about it all the time and i feel so blessed and so grateful and i love you guys all bye